Hey guys! What's up everyone? Some time ago I posted a video titled Language Challenge in 6 Day. Now I'm back sharing with you a few other steps to learning a difficult language, in this case Hungarian. Did you guys think I could give up? No, 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 no way. When I start a challenge, I go through it till I win. If you missed the previous video, I suggest you to go watch it because it's really the first part of the challenge. I'll post the link here or here. So how to learn a difficult language like Hungarian in few days? Well, after the first six steps I described in the first video, now I want to go on with three other steps. Without any further ado, let's get started. I'll go through the learning of the most common words in Hungarian, this time not only a thousand words, but maybe two thousand ones. And this time I will learn also the cases. Not only will I learn the two thousand most common words in Hungarian, but also the several suffixes you have to use to build a sentence with those words. It's not gonna be easy. Follow me. Second step, this time I'm gonna be reading all the nice comments in Hungarian you wrote down my previous video and use them as a real grammatical treasure that I can analyze and from which I can extract the grammar rules that I don't know yet. I will write down in one sheet all the grammar rules that I already know and I will use a second sheet to write down all the grammar rules that I don't know yet. Your comments are the best grammar book for me, so please keep commenting down below because you are really helping me studying and I'm grateful for that. Also, I'm gonna read some of your nice comments just as a pronunciation test. Please correct me when I do mistakes. All of them were nice comments. What is the video? Nagyon jól holads. Csak így tovább. I hope I said it well. Magyar vagyok, és imádtam a videodat. Az akcentusod és a kiejtésed nagyon jó. Csak így tovább. Thank you. <laughs> he said Budapest. Nagyon ügyesen beszélsz magyarul. Köszönöm szépen. A gyöt szertárt. Ne gyöt szertárnak mond. Kicsit, vicc, kicsit vicces volt. Nagyon jól ejted ki a szavakat. Hajra. Hát igen, nagyon nehéz ez a nyelv. Egyetértek. Sikerülni fog. Így tovább. Third step. Watching an entire movie in Hungarian. That's a real challenge and I'll probably lose this match. But success rises from failure. So I'm gonna dive into it. To make it a little bit easier for me, I'll watch the movie first in English language and afterwards I'll watch it again in Hungarian. Otherwise I can't make it. Well guys, when I watched the movie in English language, it's been quite easy and of course I understood every word of it. I laughed <laughs> and I enjoyed the movie. But when I watched the same movie in Hungarian language, it's been pretty frustrating because actors speak like Formula One. And this is what happens every scene. You understand the first sentences, their meaning, their general sense. Then you miss one word, one single damn word, but not a useless word, a very important one to understand the meaning of the entire scene, if not of the whole movie. In that very moment, actors keep talking and you're still wondering what was that damn word and you almost get crazy and this way you lose 20 or 30 other words of the scene and you don't understand anything you don't want to give up so you rewind and rewind and rewind until you understand that terrible word you missed but i know this was the most challenging thing i could do so i don't feel frustrated at all and I'll keep studying, and I'll keep trying. I don't give up. Okay, guys, this is it for this video, but I wanna share with you one thing. I'm facing a problem. In fact, in the first days of my language learning, the learning curve grows quite linearly. 
but after a while it starts growing a bit less. This is probably due to a saturation of my brain that needs to fixate new words, new concepts, new sentences and new sounds and needs time to settle all this huge material into my memory. Memorization that only happens if you use the language every single day. So my advice to you if you're learning a new language, don't skip one single day. Use that language every single day. Also 10 minutes could be enough. I'll keep you up to date about my language learning. Stay tuned. And guys, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you again for all the lovely comments. Thank you so much.